Hey everybody, Roger here. I think it's time for me to weigh on on this over-analyzed, over overhyped uh, drama between Donald Trump, the White House, uh, CNN, and um, Jim Acosta. I want to give my two cents. So CNN now is is uh, suing uh, the White House and Trump, certain staffers, I guess, uh, for basically kicking or removing the press pass of Acosta's press pass and revoking it. Now, CNN, again, this is just for Acosta. Acosta was being rude. I, I don't think I have to repeat the story over and over again. Everybody already has. But Acosta basically was told to sit down so another reporter could be asked questions. And, and he was insistent on, on continuing his tirade of nonsense. Uh, this is the same thing that the other guy from Telemundo did to Trump a couple uh, when he was uh, the president, uh, when he was uh, running for office at the time. I can't remember the other guy's name, but it looks like Jim Acosta. Uh, but anyways, um, reporters, you have to understand, you you have a career just like all the other people that were in that in that press house briefing. Um, they also have, uh, you know, they want to have questions asked as well. Give everybody else a chance. You asked your questions, you were told to stop, or you were told to sit down and next reporter, and you did not honor that. The, it, the This issue is yours and yours alone. Now with that, uh, CNN has decided to put the lawsuit uh, against Trump and the White House and certain staff officials, I guess. But now, here's the other tip here. Fox, Washington Post, and a couple of all these other mainstream media outlets are siding with CNN. <laughs> They're backing CNN on this. I think it's ridiculous. Um, and obviously, birds of a feather flock together. You know, you might you might think of it as as you know, Fox is is uh, is the is right wing news and CNN is left wing news. But you couldn't be further from the truth. They're all one and the same. And uh, this is why. This is why. When you look at independent content creators like myself, or more notably, you know, hire people that are obviously a lot better than I am, James Alsa, Styx, um, Vincent James, etc. So you have these people who are actually, uh, they're, they will offer opinion, they'll give you their, their outlook, uh, sometimes they even provide data, like Vincent James is very good at providing data and statistical stat, stats uh, to, to show you why the MSM is wrong, why the general public is wrong, and try to teach you that so that way you're, you're, you're ahead of the game and you can learn something. So, so uh, here's, where, here's what I have to say about this whole thing. Donald Trump, I'm, not, I'm pretty sure you're not ever going to see this, but this is my idea and it came from me first, people. You should just get rid of all of these press passes, these general press passes, and instead start offering these temporary press passes like you did Lauren Southern um, a couple months back or a couple years back, I can't remember now, uh, but offer these press passes as ongoing going forward to peop, to content creators. We don't have to have a news out, we, news outlets. We can ask you questions, then we can cover it in our videos, uh, and that would be our press pass. You know, we and it would be some people, new people every single time. It wouldn't be the same old, same old. These people, these organizations, CNN, Fox, Washington Post, Washington Times, Huffington Post, etc. All these people who who have their regular press passes. They're old news now, and all they're doing is just uh, altering news, altering reality. And content creators are their enemy. And people like people like us with independent views, independent opinion, that are able to actually shape uh, uh, or have the ability more so than MSM to shape the views of the general public. We are the general public. Why not change the press pass in your in your presidency? You know, instead, you know. Uh, Every time you have a press conference, invite certain people, invite certain content creators to come on. We can ask a couple questions here and there. We cover it in our videos. It gets spread around. And you know what? This is the people. This is the people. The free press. The actual free press. Not bought and paid for. Not Soros funded. Not any sort of funding funded. Uh, this is free press. You're going to get that with us. You could change this, Trump. That's my opinion on this. I think it's a good thing that this is happening. Uh, Trump, if you if you like my idea, let me know. I'd be more than happy to go to the White House <laughs> and maybe ask a couple questions here and there. Um, 
and uh, go from there. At least, at least you'll know that we're on your side. Uh, we're on the side. Well, I can't say we're on your side. We're on the side of your ideology and and your and your goals to make in America what it really was intended to be, bringing it back to its glory, bringing it back to what America really is. We we side on you with that, and for that we respect you. I can give a rat's ass about your potty mouth. I can give a rat's ass about you know how you had. Uh, consensual sex with multiple women, whatever, whatever, whatever. If your wife can forgive you, if your if if your uh, your country can forgive you, as long as you're doing the job that you're put in there to do. You now we still have to talk about that border wall. Um, what are you guys' thoughts on my idea regarding uh, uh, Trump changing the methodology of the uh, the press passes and giving it to content creators instead of uh, news MSM news outlets? Love to hear your thoughts. Uh, like, hate, share, subscribe, unsubscribe, I love it all. Peace out.